getting so much fun without Hennessy. So if my first flight is any late, I might miss my second flight. We're at zero. Zero miles to empty. You can't make this shit up. We are gonna make it, I promise. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Mullet is gone. Well, for the most part, I gotta get it cleaned up next week, but I was just tired of having long hair. Look, I'm gonna get straight to the point. It's it's crazy when you get to start the day in Atlanta and end the day somewhere else. We're flying to Texas tonight to go to a KG1 and Fury rally or event. I'll, ha I'll explain I'll explain more later of what the event is, but it's more of a rally. I'm only gonna be there for a couple of days. I'm not gonna be there the whole time. Chick-fil-A, vibes are good, but it's just cool to me that you get to start the morning at work in Atlanta and you're gonna end the day in Dallas. We're flying to Dallas tonight and then we're gonna be in Austin, Texas Sunday and Monday. I'm gonna try and link up with some subscribers while I'm there. I don't really know what to expect to be 100% honest with you. Shout out to Fury for bringing me out. Shout out to Fury for the invite. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm, in a, I'm, I'm, I'm living the dream right now is what it is. I'm just blessed to be able to do some things. I'm blessed to be able to do things like this, travel, share the experience with you guys. And I love y'all. Y'all got me to this point. So let's get this bread. Start in Atlanta, in the day in Austin, Dallas, somewhere, Texas. Get this bread. Let me know if you guys want like an updated day in the life of Alex and like what it's like to work at the shop when I get here and stuff like that. I feel like a lot of you guys are curious. Most of you guys probably don't think I really work here, but I really am here at sometimes as early as 7.15. I have to leave my house every morning by six because I do live really far away for any of you that are new to the channel. I live like 65 miles from where I work. So I have to leave my house by six. I'm normally passing in front of the shop outside on my way to Chick-fil-A every morning by about 7.15. And they were joking with me yesterday, Corey Watson with the red truck that you guys are going to see and Leonard. They're all joking because I'm pulling up to the shop normally by 745, but by 745 when I'm rolling back up to the shop, half the time I didn't already stop by the shop, pooped, and went to Chick-fil-A and back by 745 by the time they're actually getting here for the first time. Corey's getting some rock lights put on his truck today and I told him he had to be here at 8 o'clock and he told me he was going to beat me here and lo and behold it's 745 and he is just now getting here. Did not beat me. Let the record show. It must be red Chevy day up here at the shop because we got a red Suburban. Red, another red Suburban. Red Corvette still sitting in the shop that's been here for a month that I'm ready to leave. Red Chevy on some fuels and Venoms. And a red Chevy on FTS. The theme of the day is Fury and KG1. So I wanted to show off this red Chevy that we did a couple of months ago with the 2614. KG1 Heathens with the red lug nut. It's got the billet caps on it, which is super nice. And the 37, 14, 50, 26 Furies, that MT1. If you're doing anything 24, 26, 28, 30, especially, especially the bigger sizes, it's the way to go. Like I said, KG1 and Fury is the theme of the day. We're ending the day at a party in Dallas for KG1 and Fury. And I'm super excited, so I wanted to make sure to show some love to the, uh, the KG1s and the Furies that came through the shop today. Y'all go show some love to my guy, Corey Watson, Z71 Watson. Look at that. Uh, at FTS cross member under there with the black and red. Freaking beautiful. We added a couple extra lights to the build today. Turned out really nice. He said he's going to a uh, some kind of a club in Alabama this weekend. See if, if y'all see my guy out in Alabama this weekend, y'all show some love, throw him on Instagram. He said he's gonna put on a light show for him out front in front of the club. So y'all show some love to Z71 Watson in the comments below. Let's get this bread. listening to in here. You can see the sweat. Yeah, you can. It's not every day I get dropped off at the airport by a six blow. Seven, three. Seven, oh shit. <laughs> see, you know, you know the <laughs> Trying to talk shit, I don't even know what kind of truck it is. Jonathan. <laughs> Good night, Good night. Take this. I love you, bye. So loud. This is why we fly international because there's never any line where y'all can wait in the hour and a half line at general, like just saying.
and look who's here to come get me. Oh, no, it isn't. From Miami. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. They gonna lock me out? They got you riding in the back like this? What is this hat, man? Shout out to KG1, you like my hat? <laughs> what up? Let's get this bread, baby. What's up, bro? You doing alright? Close the tailgate. I hope. Buddy PJ, I got my buddy Alex with me here. Oh, we almost killed somebody's man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. Heads on the swivel at all times. Anyway, we're back to the missions. Sudden. What was it that he lost? It broke off. Some bowls for his, uh, yeah. the flaps. Oh, for the, for the flaps. flaps, for his mud flaps, of course. Typical white boy, he has mud flaps on his build. So <laughs> it ripped off, we're gonna go get some bolts, and I wanna go get me a pair of boots, so I wanna go. Oh. We're going to area. Oh, you see? We're outside. We're going to area. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. I got my boots, man. Yes, sir. We're we got Texas, our boots, man. Can't leave without boots. You can't come to Texas without boots. No, yes, absolutely sir. not. You can't come to Texas without boots, man. And my things are all messed up from the shop. I need yeah, he's boots. a work. He's a boots worker, you know. You work in the boots. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't really fucking with Dallas because the grass ain't green out here, and it just I don't know. I didn't like it. But we pulled up, and there was a Chick Fil A across the street from Chipotle. Dude, Alex loves his Chipotle and his Chick Fil A. You find the way to my heart. There's a Hooters down the street. I mean, Texas Fair. Welcome to the KG1 event. <laughs> Two years now, he's been working on Lifted Legends Rally. Lifted Legends Rally. I'm, it's going to take me a little while to get used to the name. We're going to be here for a couple of days. We're in Dallas. We're going to be in Austin tomorrow. This is day one. Officially, it starts tomorrow. First order of business. i got to get something to eat. we got to do the two-minute restaurant review. We don't have a lot of things on the menu today, but we're getting some street tacos, right? So we're getting some steak tacos. That's the first thing. You guys know I'm a fat boy. I'm working on my dad bod. Cut the hair off. It's summertime. It's hot. we got to get something to eat. That's first order of business. We're getting some tacos. As soon as I get them out, I'm going to let you guys know how to Dude, this guy's like the important. <laughs> Yo, that was that was money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> One bite, everybody knows the rules, right? Y'all see it. Y'all see it. A little steak street taco action. And that thing's hot. Is that sauce hot? Bro, that's fire. Bro, that's too good. 10 out of 10. I don't know if I was just hungry or what. That's fucking gas. My boy, my boy, <laughs> thank you. The covers, the whole box. over the next couple of days is going to be 90% F450s, 250s, 350s. There might be a couple Rams out here. You guys know being that wide bow tie, I had to point out there's two trucks I'm going to thumb thumbnail over the next two days, both of them being GM products. The first one I want to show you guys is this 14 to 18 GMC behind me with the 26 by 16s and the 405. So on mine currently, I've got 24 14s and 375s. Whenever I go to upgrade, we're not going to do the Nittos next time. We're going to do the 26 by 16s. I'm 
pretty sure this is the compass. I might be wrong though. But whenever I do upgrade, we're gonna go 2616, all illusion red, spike lug nuts, floating center caps like these. We'll swap over the bread gang center caps and we have to upgrade to the 405s. I'm in love with the 405. That 26 by 16 with the 405 is just so freaking clean. Chauncey just upgraded his truck to the 2616. Amani's in the 405s. And whenever I upgrade, I just I have to I have to do it. It's just it's, it's gotta be the, it's gotta be the move. The 16 wides, the 405s a little bit taller, a little bit wider, so it's not a stretch. Because you guys know I don't like the stretch. It's got a really nice just profile to it. It's got a tiny bit of stretch, but just enough to where I, I feel comfortable. You know, I like to hit curbs every now and then. But having the 375 on it really just keeps me from curbing my wheels. Even though I like to curb my wheels. That McGoy 7 to 9 got the upgraded upper control arms, compression struts in the front, no traction bars, but the black and chrome is freaking clean. 2616s, 405s, and the McGoy's kit. Come on now, we out here in Texas, they still repping McGoy's like that. You know it's the best lift kit in the country for a reason. These two are definitely two of my favorites though. 1650s on the back of a dually. That's crazy, look how big that spacer is in the back. Crazy, the lifted rippers. The yellow one and the, like the, what, salmon colored one? Ain't no way they don't bust their ass. Ain't no way. Oh god, that's that's a rescue for disaster. Oh dude. <laughs> <laughs>
all the Chevy guys running all, outside. All, all the Chevy guys running outside. <laughs> <laughs> Most excitement I've had all day. I don't know why. It's how we're like, 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 it's about motherfucking time! <laughs> He's lifted. I'm Let trying to rally for sure I'm, now. I'm trying to figure out why the letters were backwards. No. And so, Terry is explaining no. to me why the letters selfie are backwards. Mode. Selfie mode. Turns your shit right. Okay. Oh, first, let me take a selfie. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> backwards. Stay on that next level shit. Yeah. Is it? Dude, is it backwards? It's not backwards for you, man. It's, it's backwards here. <laughs> it's not backwards for you. But it's not you. backwards. But yeah, here. but then it's, it's not selfie here. mode. It's not backwards. I guess Wait, that makes sense. Oh shit. <laughs> so we're finishing they on that up. Next level we gotta too. get a couple other trucks detailed. So we're getting decals put on all the trucks. Like it's really cool to be at the warehouse in Dallas because you get to see. I mean, we order stuff from here every now and then. A lot of our wheels that we order come from Jacksonville, but it's cool to just come hang out at the take warehouse. Over, take over, take <laughs> over. He's not as drunk as I thought he would be, to be honest with you. I thought he was gonna be Dude, like, take over part three. Hey, man, can you even post. press on tires? Oh. Oh, God. Hey, we're we're screwed. Screwed. hey sir, do you work at Southern Tire? <laughs> we're screwed. Uh, we're uh, on Monday. Call him on Monday. Oh, hey, we're screwed. He's all right. I know. Call him on Monday, bro. Hey. Monday? Call him. No, call him. Pink one in the sting. You got girls' ass cheeks. Then you got the sperm cells, bro. <laughs> huh? That's I love this guy, bro. I love this guy. They're really sperm cells, but look, it's really ass cheeks. <laughs> I love it. One, it's one. middle fingers and two in the pink, one in the sting. That's good content right there. That's good content right there. Dude, where'd you come up with those dudes? <laughs> Is this YouTube appropriate? <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to post this on YouTube. <laughs> Oh God. Oh, come on. Hey, Laz has a jump box. Hey, don't get that on video. I'm not filming nothing. Oh, jeez. I hope you guys enjoyed the content of day one. I'm gonna sit down and probably not edit it all tonight because it's like midnight and I've been up since five o'clock and I'm ready to go to bed. So if you guys enjoyed day one, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Day two starts first thing in the morning. We are going to Austin, I believe, and there's some other stuff planned. So make sure you guys stay tuned. It's gonna be a great day. And I have a, I have a very exciting truck reveal for you guys. If you guys made it this far into the video, this is gonna be my favorite truck of the trip by far. Like, subscribe. Let's get this bread. Get this bread baby. That's what I'm talking about.